So welcome everybody, welcome back to the allotment, the day after, the day after, the great build, yes, the big muggle, <laughs> look at the thickness of that wood man, <gasps> blow my neck, the big great build there yesterday, and it might take a little while to kind of get it all finished off, but at least it's done and it's dusted, and a bit, like I say, I mentioned yet a big thank you to Alex. So the day, a couple of little things, it's given us space, because... Although I'd gotten it and claimed it for free that wood, there's a little bit left there, but I want to, I can get into that bed because I couldn't get in to get the good compost. So I want to get some nice compost today to plant some pumpkins. I'll, sh I'll show you the pots now. We've got some nice two big plants, olive trees for the garden design at home. And they came in these pots. So you know how I was saying, oh, I didn't have any more pots. So I'm going to do my pumpkins in pots which is something I want to do. But I want to show you something, look at this. Because remember when I got that sawdusty wood chippings off, you know, I asked, I was brave enough to ask. Well, I put it in and then one of the gardeners, oh, shouldn't be doing that, no. Creosote, because one of the trees was a pine and you're not, nothing will grow, nothing will grow. You, you, you spoil, you spoil your, your, your compost for years. But look at this, that's all just popped up. Tomatoes, <laughs> and I wouldn't care. Look at them, man. They just look. look this is, nothing seems to be happening. You know, like going wrong there. And what I'm surprised about is that I put my hand in there. You know, and it was. I wonder if it's still. Ah, it is. It's still warm down there. Not, you know, but it's, it's all breaking down there. So I was a bit unsure if it would things would grow there but unless tomatoes can grow in, in like post-apocalyptic kind of worlds but there's a lovely crop of tomatoes there so I want to use some but I want to use some of this compost as well this is stuff move all that stuff over fill them barrels with compost but first Strawberry picking time with me. Got me Joe Wicks container. <laughs> me Joe Wicks healthy eating Tupperware box, yes. Because I'm, you know, I'm a fan of healthy eating, as we know. And I've tried to get them up and up and up, but to come and pick them, but I want to pick them before they get like too far gone. So now is a good time. And it actually, if I leave it any longer, they will be gone. But it's the weather. I'm just putting these scissors in my pocket. That's why you're on a funny angle. The weather's not going to be very nice, so the fair weather garden is my family. But I want to just get in there and get these picked. And if anybody's watching, this is the first... This... Hey, I'm talking behind the camera again. <laughs> I do that bloody trick. This is the first time... Well, the first time, really, I've grown fruit in the allotment. It's always just been like it's a purely veg one, but... So I've never grown fruit before, but these strawberries are looking good. <laughs> I'm just pushing this over. And it's actually nice that it's a, it's a wettish day. <laughs> so the girls are just quite a subdued. So where's my scissors? I've just put, there they are. Let's have a look. Look at these, man. Look at them. Now, Alex as well. When Alex came over, that I was just mentioned, he brought some of his honey over yesterday. <gasps> and I've strained it all out. Because it came, like, with the comb. But I've got all the equipment to get in full production. And that would be a great press, like, prize to give out on the show. Some of my honey. But... Alex brought some of his over because I'll probably not be able to touch that, you know, for a year. But I sieved it all and got it all cleaned. Hey, and it's absolutely gorgeous, man. There's something diff total different taste from like a shop board. They taste almost harsh, them ones where this honey from the bees and it was from the queen that kind of flew away. That we've got it and it's gorgeous. Absolutely. Right, I'll get these strawberries picked. Look at that, man. 
It's a belt. Come and have a look at these. Take you off there. There's my first batch of strawberries. <laughs> That's fantastic, to be honest. Wowza, look at that, man. I did them. <laughs> I'm really pleased with them. <laughs> fantastic. On another sombre note, do you know what I mean? This bloody weather, man, it's just, you know what I mean? You're fighting your elements to kind of, to get it. Look at this. Remember them, the small dwarf beans that I put in? Well, I mean, what are we going to do now? The 7th of June. Look at the state of these ones. The 7th of June. I think they'll, you know, still come, but Sue's got a right bash in there, the bottom leaves. Scott's tender green look all right. But, yeah, the Amelia's are, are all right there, but it's just, like, just brutal, this weather. You know, you don't think so, but the wind, I don't know if that's, like, wind chaff, you know, like, blowing... But even these ones of, of getting a good, you know, a good hammering. But you kind of, you know, you've got to put them out in June. You can't kind of leave them any longer. I think they'll be all right. They might be knocked back a little bit, but man, you've got to fight against the elements. So let us go and fill up because what I'm not going to do is put my pumpkins out just yet. Do you know what I mean? I'll just wait. I'll get them in a bucket or the, I'll get one because what, what I'm going to do is show you a little trick as well. I want to keep the water in, keep the moisture in, but I might set it at the back over there in a bucket and if, hopefully it might grow along that back fence. But anyways, get this up here. I've got lovely big holes in. Like I say, it's nice just being able to get in here. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to just... Separate this. Oh, the lovely pots, to be honest. Oh. Man, drop the good stuff in there. So, I want to load them up with blood, fish, and bone. And the chicken pellets as well. So I've got two well, I've got a few others, but I'm going to start off with these two. This is a normal, just kind of your everyday pumpkin. One, you know, the red ones. It's a jack-o'-lantern looking things. And then I've got a, a butternut squash there. Give me water. Now for the secret. <laughs> this is it. This is that straw that I use on the potatoes. Now, when I first put it on the potatoes, like I say, you think it flies away, but once it's it's wet, it just seems to knit together to like a make like a shield almost. So, and this is going to do two things. And I got this idea from Tony from the um, Here We Grow You Garden UK, but I forget, Simplified Garden now. Tony uses it for his potatoes, and that's where I got the idea from. But it'll also stop, like, the weeds coming up from, like, your comp, you know, like your homemade compost. But it'll keep the, the moisture in, because these will be hungry things for water. And like I say, when's when it gets wet, it just seems to bind together. And it doesn't fly away, it flies away now. <laughs> so 
so there we go so I've just like I say just kept them in here for the time being and I've got a kind of a few more to be honest if things go wrong I've actually that first one's a melon if I'm not uh, we went where did we get that from oh and I was getting some plants for the, the other garden so like I say with this weather so unpredictable I just kind of I don't want to take a chance you know what I mean I'm just getting I'm getting a little bit annoyed if the truth's known do you know what I mean it's June steady weather but no what else I think not be long till I'm pulling this garlic now you know the like I say a few of the bottom leaves go so maybe a, a week or so for them then there's a free bed that's going to come all down I've decided oh I should have gotten that done look at I should be able to do it with my hand to be honest see that's me one <laughs> I dug it up because I thought if we mess with it and stand on it you know while we're doing this bed so I think just with my hands I'm just going to put it back in before I bloody lose the one courgette I've got and actually they're starting with the courgette I don't know if you can see there a few folks mentioned that they do with a, like a mound as well but I've never done that mind you but we'll try I'm just trying to shape it into a mound there like a, a, oh, so the water will sink into here sorry I'm banging the bloody camera ow she punched me thumb there we go pick that weed off so we'll see I think you know unless the weather gets it I'm sure I'll get a courgette off that right I've just had a message my tea's ready and the strawberries I wanted look after yourselves I'm gonna steer this man take good care